to lay something heavy on you. Just cause you got eyes doesn't mean you always see. You got to get the whole picture before you really know what's going down. Don't believe me? Well, I'm going to show you some pages from my sketch pad. But not every page. See if you can tell what's happening before I show you the missing pages. You dig? Now picture this. A man walks into a diner and asks a waitress for a glass of water. The waitress reaches behind the counter and pulls out a scary mask instead. But dig. The man says, thank you, and walks back out the diner. Crazy, man. Are you hip to the scene? Can you figure out what really went down before I lay the missing pages of my sketch pad on you? Remember, you can look, but you don't always see. Check it out. You might think this daddy will thank the waitress because she made him laugh, but it ain't that. You may be thinking that it was Halloween and the cat needed to go home and get his mask. But it ain't that. Or maybe you think that the kitten behind the counter was crazy. But it ain't that. Truth is, she was only trying to help. So you gotta ask yourself, when is getting frightened even better than a glass of water? Are you seeing it now? When you've got the hiccups. Can you dig? She scared the cat and the hiccups went away. Now the whole crazy scene makes sense. Like I've been telling you, when you really use your eyes, you're gonna draw the right conclusion. Page, but not every page. 
See if you can tell what's happening before I show you the missing pages. You dig? Picture this. There was this daddy-o who decided to take his son to work. But catch this. Just after they got there, a huge fire broke out in the building. It was crazy. Tons of firefighters were hip to the scene. They were busy evacuating people and putting out the fire. But here's the panic. That father, he passes out and can't move. Scary. The son, now he's a smart cookie. He ran to the window and yelled for help for his pops. Dig this. One of the firefighters looks up, sees the boy at the window and yells, Get that boy. He's my son. some pages of my sketch pad on you. Because it all will make sense. You might think the firefighter was trying to motivate the truth, so to speak. You know, give them a reason to work fast. That ain't cool. And that ain't it. Maybe you think it was a case of mistaken identity. You know, the firefighter was nearsighted. It was smoky and he thought it was his son. <laughs> but that ain't it. And maybe you're thinking he had two dads. You know, like that firefighter was really the boy's stepfather. But that ain't it. So you gotta ask yourself, how could this boy be the son of a man who passed out and the son of a firefighter when the firefighter is his mom? Did you catch it? Oh, yeah. Before you lose your chill, let me tell you, everyone was okay. And the firefighters put the fire out. So like I've been telling you, when you really use your eyes, you're going to draw the right conclusion.
you got to get the whole picture before you really know what's going down. Don't believe me? Well, I'm going to show you some pages from my sketch pad. But not every page. See if you can tell what's happening before I show you the missing pages. You dig? Picture this. This cat Walter lives at the top of a really tall skyscraper. But then, even though he lives on the 30th floor, he only takes the elevator to the 17th floor. Then my man Walter, he climbs the stairs all the way to the 30th floor. All those stairs. Crazy man. Can you figure out what really went down before I leave the missing pages of my sketch pad on you? Believe me, it makes sense. Catch this, daddy-o. You might think this cat likes to exercise, but it ain't that. You might be thinking there's something wrong with the elevator, you know, so it only goes to the 17th floor. But it ain't that. Maybe you think he's got a friend on the 17th floor. <laughs> but it ain't that. Man, it makes you wonder. Why would a guy walk all those stairs when he doesn't like it? Can you see it now? My man Walter is just a little kid. He's too small to reach the top button. Dig it? Like I've been telling you, when you really use your eyes, you're going to draw the right conclusion. Hey, cats. It's your friend Sketch here to lay something heavy on you. Just because you got eyes doesn't mean you always see. You got to get the whole before you really know what's going down. Don't believe me? Well, I'm going to show you some pages from my sketch pad. But not every page. See if you can tell what's happening before I show you the missing pages. You dig? Picture this. Sandy was this groovy lady who worked on the 26th floor of a very tall office building. All day long, she stared at dirty windows. And one day, my girl Sandy, she was working so hard, she fell asleep right there on the job. Whoa, daddy-o, now that is not cool. Even less cool, she was leaning against the window, and it opened. And catch this, she fell through that open window. This little kitten Sandy, she didn't hurt herself, not even a scratch. Can you figure out what really went down before I lay the missing pages of my sketch pal? Believe me, it makes sense. Check it out. You might think I'm trying to trick you, you know, that Sandy fell from the first floor. I wouldn't do that. Hey, <laughs> maybe you think there was a giant cushion on the ground to break a fall, <laughs> but it ain't that. And if you're thinking this kitten Sandy was wearing a parachute, well, it ain't that either. You know, Daddy-O, it makes you wonder, how could a lady fall through a window on the 26th floor and not get hurt? Are you seeing it with me? This funky lady Sandy, she's a window washer. She was outside the 26th floor, and when she fell through the window, she fell onto the floor inside. Crazy. Like I've been telling you, when you really use your eyes, you're going to draw the right conclusion.
See if you can tell what's happening before I show you the missing pages. You dig? Picture this. A fire was raging out of control through a big apartment building. There were firemen running all around that wild scene. Turns out this cat, a real cat, was still trapped inside the burning building. So a brave fireman climbed a ladder to pull her to safety. But the fire burned right through the ladder. And they fell straight to the ground. No need to worry, though. Neither of them were hurt at all. Not a scratch. How's that for crazy? Can you figure out what really went down before I lay the missing pages of my sketch pad on you? Because it all makes sense. There might have been a trampoline from a big air mattress to ease the fall. But it's not that. They could have fallen into a lake or a pool. <laughs> but it's not that. So you gotta ask yourself, when can you fall out of a tall building and not get hurt? Just remember, even though you've got a big ladder and a big building, don't mean you can't be at the bottom of them both. The cat was on the first floor. So like I've been telling you, when you really use your eyes, you're gonna draw the right conclusion. Don't believe me? 
Well, I'm going to show you some pages from my sketch pad. But not every page. See if you can tell what's happening before I show you the missing pages. You dig? Picture this. A cool dude is asleep. He dreams that his boss is going to get into a car accident. So the dude tells his boss. The big cheese listens to the dude and takes a cab home. When the head honcho gets into his pad, he rings the dude, not to thank him, but to fire the dude. Ain't that something crazy? Can you figure out what really went down before I lay the missing pages of my sketch pad on you? Because it all makes sense. So why would he fire the dude? Maybe he thought the dude just wanted to steal his car. <laughs> but that's not it. Maybe the cab got into an accident and the boss broke his leg. <laughs> but that's not it. I'll tell you what it was. When that dude was sleeping, he was sleeping on the job. He was the night watchman. When he told his boss about his dream, he might as well have signed his own pink slip. The boss figured it out. And fired him. So like I've been telling you, when you really use your eyes, you're gonna draw the right conclusion. Something heavy on you. 
just cause you got eyes doesn't mean you always see. You got to get the whole picture before you really know what's going down. Don't believe me? Well, I'm going to show you some pages from my sketch pad. But not every page. See if you can tell what's happening before I show you the missing pages. You dig? Now picture this. Two strong dudes are clearing a big field for plowing. Those cats work all day long. By the time they're done, they're mighty thirsty, baby. The only problem is they can't reach down far enough into the well to get some water. There's no bucket and no rope. But somehow those do find a way to get all the water they can drink. Crazy, man. Are you switched on and with it? Can you figure out what really went down before I lay the missing pages of my sketch pad on you? Remember, you can look, but you don't always see. Check it out. Now, you might think some tall cat came along and gave them some help, but it ain't that. Oh, you may be thinking a quick rainstorm went passing through, but it ain't that. Or maybe you think they found a super long pipe and used it like a straw. But it ain't that either. So you gotta ask yourself, if those cats can't get nearer to the water, how can the water get nearer to them? By raising the water level, man. They dropped stones in the well, and the water level came up to meet them. Just like when you take a bath in a rubber dub tub. <laughs> Are you seeing it now? Groovy. Like I've been telling you, when you really use your eyes, you're gonna draw the right conclusions. Sketch here to lay 
is something heavy on you. Just cause you got eyes doesn't mean you always see. You got to get the whole picture before you really know what's going down. Don't believe me? Well, I'm going to show you some pages from my sketch pad. But not every page. See if you can tell what's happening before I show you the missing pages. You dig? Now picture this. This hippie chick is making silk flowers for a most righteous wedding. So she borrows a perfect red rose from a friend. And uses it as a model. She even sprays the fake rose with perfume. But when she's done, she can't find the real rose because she did such fine work. All those flowers look and smell the same. So what does she do? Why, she goes right over to the window and opens it up. And in a few minutes, she's able to give the real flower back to her friend. Crazy, man. Don't it just flip your wig? Can you figure out what really went down before I lay the missing pages of my sketch pad on you? Remember, you can look, but you don't always see. Check it out. You might think sunlight came through the window and the real rose turned toward the sun. <laughs> but that ain't it. Or you may be thinking the wind came in and blew all the perfume away. <laughs> but that ain't it. Or maybe you think a rainstorm blew in and washed the paint off the fake flowers. But that ain't it either. So you gotta ask yourself, why would you open a window to tell a real flower from a fake one? Because she let in a bee and it flew right over to the real flower. You dig? Bees can only pollinate real flowers, and they won't get fooled by anything that just smells and looks like one. <laughs> so like I've been telling you, when you really use your eyes, you're gonna draw the right conclusion. Chopsticks. 
groovy, baby. Togetherness show is a beautiful thing. So like I've been telling you, when you really use your eyes, you're gonna draw the right conclusion. Turn the lights on. 
He filled up the house with light. Whoa, now that's heavy, you dig? So like I've been telling you, when you really use your eyes, you're gonna draw the right conclusions.